Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to my channel of daily tech news and reviews. The Huawei Watch 2 came out in 2017 with Google Wear OS. But since then, the company has shifted its focus to the Huawei Watch GD series, which runs its own in-house software. According to a leakster on Weibo, the Huawei Watch 3 will arrive in May at earliest. It won't run Google software of course. Interestingly, it won't use the same light OS that we've seen on the GT watches either. Instead, it will run Harmony OS with a brand new user interface. Also, it will support more third-party applications, something currently lacking in the GT series. The Huawei Watch 3 will focus on advanced AI features and may have a shorter battery life compared to the Watch GT2 series and it can last around 8 days only. But for me, it's still awesome battery performance. The interface appears different from the Huawei OS watch demo that we saw in September last year. At least the design language of the icons is completely different. It is also reported that the Huawei Watch 3 will support an eSIM compatibility. This will set it apart from the GD series, which lacks of mobile data connectivity. Also, the Watch 3 will feature WeChat support with the ability to reply with text or using your voice to send a voice message. I hope some other apps as well like WhatsApp, Messenger, and other social media platforms. And talking about the upcoming smartphones, the Huawei P50 series may have been delayed to June. That launch event may serve as a venue to unveil the new Huawei Watch 3. Like the watch, the P50 series will launch with Harmony OS out of the box. I am so excited to see this device, especially the Harmony OS. So what do you think guys of this new upcoming Huawei Watch 3 and their new operating system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, consider subscribing for more tech news and reviews. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.